Hi, whether you're 7 or 70, join me drawing a space capsule to celebrate history this week as SpaceX launched two NASA astronauts into space. Here's the finished drawing. I took a photo and then used a free app called Canva to cut around the drawing so I could digitally paste it onto the background. I'm Glenn, welcome to Splat 3D. This is the incredible photo from the International Space Station ISS. You can see the Dragon capsule which was launched into space by the Falcon 9 rocket this week. Here's the actual drawing. I've used a soft blue pastel and a tissue to wipe on just a hint of blue to the white capsule. For this drawing I'm using the large teacher size splat, but it makes no difference if you're using the larger or the standard size splat. Let's start by drawing a centre line all the way across the page, nice and lightly, and give yourself a starting point. I'm going to centre those two little lines on the centre line, and then trace around the full ellipse. From the centre of that ellipse, mark off half of one edge length. And on that mark, I'll drop down a light guideline. It doesn't matter how long or short this line is. Those two lines on the centre line help me get the ellipse in just the right place. I'm tracing only half the ellipse on the right hand side. When I go to join those two together, it could look a bit bumpy. So watch as I extend that around a bit more. I'm going to go back to the splat and bring it around and you'll notice that when I bring uh, the ruler up to there it makes a much neater joint. Next erase those lines. Let's draw the nose cone swung open ready for docking. Pick a point and with that ellipse flat match it to that point and then draw the full ellipse. On top of that is the nose cone and it needs to come up and around in kind of a half a sphere shape roughly and on the inside has a little step so we'll trace the ellipse just a bit smaller and let's do a smaller ellipse over there as well draw your ellipses really faintly at first and when you're sure of the shape come back and darken them in i'm drawing a second ellipse over a little bit it's like a cylinder shape this is called a soft capture the capsule is pretty heavy when it's moving in and docking so it needs something squishy up front here I'm darkening in the hatch that the astronauts will climb through into the space station. Now for the back section. From the end of the capsule, come across not quite one full length. Back off just a little bit. And we're going to line up those two marks of the ellipse on the centre line. And draw half an ellipse. I'm connecting that to the large ellipse of the capsule. And we have a cylinder. When you finish this drawing and you know some basic shapes, you can begin to design your own spacecraft. Have a look at this line on the bottom. I'm dividing it into three even sections. I'm going to start drawing the fin with a vertical line. And then go across until it lines up with its second mark. And it's going to slope downwards and touch that one there. Great. What about the middle? How do I know when to start? Well, I'm going to use my ellipse as a guide. If you line up the ellipse with that mark and bring a guideline around, that shows you where the start of the middle fin would be. So I'm erasing a little section at the back and then bringing that middle fin curved at the front all the way through the back. Now we'll draw the Super Draco motors, the rocket engine spread around the outside of the capsule. We'll draw one up the top first, put a little cross or a mark out the front of the capsule. Imagine a line from that mark towards roughly there at the back. Draw a line on the side of the capsule. That's the first one. We'll line the ruler up again with the mark, but this time we'll aim towards that point on the fin and we'll draw a second line. Really lightly sketch in this line. When you darken it leave a small gap at the top there and a much larger gap at the bottom. Then join those two points. 
at the front you can round that off just a little okay so those black dots are the actual nozzles of the rocket motors you could pop a flag on there and i think in that position is the nasa symbol oh that's looking great we need some windows in here these little holes in various directions are thrusters and it can maneuver in space by letting little um, jets of gas go. This curious little detail, I'm not sure what it is, whether it's a down facing camera or it's where communications are plugged in. Could someone leave me a message if you know what that is? Thanks. Run a darker line right around the outside of your drawing to make it pop. There's four evenly spaced little black holes at the front. If you can find out what they're for, then you should be working for Elon Musk. I couldn't. Sketch in some kind of hinge for the top of the capsule. Here's a speed up of drawing the solar panels on the trunk. Tracing parts of the ellipse there and then joining them some lines. Obviously lots of electricals on board need some power. And there seems to be some little detail there. And using the splat to do a little fix up there. Now I'm trying to mark the individual panels. You don't have to do this. But um, if you do, do it really, really sharp pencil. And you see how I'm leaving some sections not done? That's when the sun shines on it. You don't see all of those little gaps. Here I'm drawing at the front uh, what could be part of the ISS. I'm using the small ellipse lined up with the center line. And I'm sliding it along to create uh, a cylinder shape. And for the rest of the shape, just make it up as you go along. If you like learning about space, drawing, you could have a career in space, science or engineering, if you want to. You just need an interest and you need to tell people about your goal and ask for help. I don't know what all of these bumps and hatches and aerials are for, but boy, I wish I did. Thanks so much for drawing along. Send me your work. Thanks, guys. Bye.